Hey everyone, here's a quick update on the progress of Salient OS. This is the latest iteration, both ISOs have been refreshed. They're available on SourceForge now. Um, the mirrors are probably still updating a little bit because they've only just been uploaded, but they are available now. I'll worry about that later. Um, so thank you all for the feedback that i've received and all the people that have tested this for me and are willing to test this for me and have provided feedback has helped me isolate issues and correct them as we've gone along um, calamari is now on the latest iteration 3.2.4 and the installation stalling at 90 percent has now been resolved it was a calamari issue it wasn't a salient os issue so that has now been resolved. I've corrected the configurations um, that I noticed were causing the problem. So that should all be good. This is the NVIDIA version installed on the metal. I've also installed the standard version and everything is fine. You'll notice also in Calamari now that you're getting more human readable output as it steps through the installation process. So you can see what's happening. When it reaches 90%, it may appear to stall for a second, but it is not stalling. It's updating the repos and it's uninstalling Calamari and associated dependencies. And it's also running a post installation hook to clear out any live user residue that may remain on the installed system, the target system. That is all that's happening there. So please be patient with that bit. It does appear to stall, but it isn't stalling. It will work, I can assure you or it has for me anyway. These latest builds are working perfectly. So that's just a quick update. If you do have any issues, or if there are still anything, any problems arising from you trying to install this, please use SourceForge. Go to the Salient OS SourceForge web, web page. I'll leave a link in the video description. You can comment below as well. I'll answer those comments, but it is easier if it's in a centralized location. And I've enabled the ticket system the foresight salient os and that would be greatly appreciated because that can help me focus on them quicker a couple of minor other updates to bring your attention to compton is available if you'd like to use compton as your compositor but by default i've switched back to xfce compositing if you'd rather use compton disable compositing here just select this one, enable display compositing, untick that. Come into session and start up, application auto start and enable Compton there. Then you'd have to log out and log back in and that, that will then take effect. And you also have the window effects manager for Compton here. So you can change settings very easily, apply them, log out, log back in and those will be applied. Everything else should be the same. For anyone concerned about stability and security, the AUR is not enabled by default. PAMAC is included, and so is YE, the CLI AUR helper. Um, but by default, the AUR itself is not enabled. It is only pulling from the standard repos. A couple of other things. I'm now including VirtualBox. So a couple of applications had to go. BOMI has proven to be far too unstable, unstable at the present, which is a shame because it's a beautiful multimedia player, but it's proven to be too unstable. That has been removed and I've replaced it with Media Player Classic, which MPV comes, you know, these are together. Um, but obviously you're free to install whatever you like. Q Tractor has been removed as a space saver so that I can get VirtualBox in without taking up too much space, increasing the size of the ISO, as has Raw Therapy. Very easy to reinstall once you've installed the system if you want those applications. But Darktable seemed the logical application to keep as it's the closest to Lightroom. And so Lightroom users who would like to try something like this will feel at home with Darktable. Other than that, everything else is the same. As I say, the ISOs are now refreshed. They're available to download on SourceForge. And any feedback you can provide negative or positive it doesn't matter i don't take it personally this is a project and i want to optimize this project as the best i can so that you can have the best experience with an arch based system primarily targeting as you know gamers and multimedia 
enthusiasts. So any feedback, negative or positive, is good for me because it means I can target those problem areas and resolve them as quickly as possible. So there we have it. They're now available again. So if you go to the Salient OS SourceForge webpage, I'll leave a link in the description. You can now download the ISOs and enjoy yourselves, hopefully. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much.